All right, this is recording and we will now go through what you do when in fact once you have simplified all of your applied forces and you're left with the applied forces and then something you know about the reaction. So here is where it sits. Let's say you have a solve for all of your <coughs> applied forces and you have that resultant supported of course in this instance by a simply supported beam. We will look later at how what happens if it is a fixed end moment or something that has a X component, a Y component, and a bending resisting moment. In this case we know there is a pin joint at the left and a roller joint at the right and that force is not one force it is the actually the simplified resultant of all of the applied forces. So what do you do? Well first off the line of force of your resultant of the applied forces is known. The line of force of your pin joint is known and with the knowledge that this is a three force system you can figure out that the line of force from the pin joint must go through the point of concurrency of the other two lines of force. That is the key right there. In that lies your very very quickest graphical solution to any three force 2D system. Once you've figured out that point, and you can figure it out algebraically, graphically, trigonometrically, but we're looking at it graphically. Once you've figured out that point, you just use these simple facts. If it's a 2D system and it is in equilibrium it ha and it has three forces, the forces must be concurrent. So if you find the point of concurrency of two points, then you know the other line of force. Now you're back to essentially looking at the whole system as a single dot in terms of the free body diagram. You actually have a free body and onto it is applied three concurrent forces. You can now solve for the two unknown magnitudes since you have figured out the directions in some way, shape, or form. You can do that graphically. You could do it mathematically using that concept of tensile vectors coming away from a point and writing what? A matrix where the matrix is the first column is the um, the vector determined describing one of your unknowns, the second column is the vector describing your other unknown, and the third column is the opposite of the knowns. However, why do that when you can just slide the vector down to the point of concurrency, pick a direction home, and pick a direction to get to the home. So in this case we picked our direction home as being straight up and our other direction came from the other line of force. That of course gives us our solution to the reactions and we can now just put them back even if they come off the page here. And in that you have a system that the sum of the moments is equal to zero and the sum of the forces is equal to zero. So that is how you go about from once you solve for your simplify for your resultant of all your applied forces how you determine reactions graphically. We will look at next <clears throat> at how you solve reactions graphically for something that has a fixed end moment and all that comes down to is you can shift you can shift the a force perpendicular to its line of force path if in fact you replace that shift with a moment. Thanks for listening.